Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for your entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hope you guys are doing great. I'd like to find out how Queen Elizabeth is doing today, how she's feeling with everything going on, and then I will do Charles and then probably Anne. Right now, she is using her wisdom. She's going inwards with the Hermit. We got the Hermit card here. The Hermit card. And we have here, wow, with in terms of the foundation, the firm, she's doing business, doing what she's supposed to be doing. So she's working. She is lifting heavy rocks. She's lifting the heavy weight and gaining experience with the defiance and victory. So she is, she's dealing with problems. She's problem shooting, basically. Let's get some more. And we have here the three of wands in reverse. So I would say that she does not feel that the opportunity is at this time to deal with one particular burden that she has. And what I have here is the three of pentacles. So that would be uh, mastery, skill, and work. So that would be someone's not, um, she doesn't feel right now is the right time to address something. So she's, in, she's kind of like she's playing her, uh, her long game. She plays the long game. And that's how I see this. It's the long game. That's what she does. And it's cruelty, the nine, the nine of swords. So I would say we know who that is, right? Uh, so that would be Harry. She doesn't feel like addressing him at this time. And then we have here the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles in reverse, excuse me. And so there's no comfort and gain in this. Um, there's no fulfillment here. So she's not feeling too fulfilled in dealing with Harry and Megan right now. And she doesn't really feel like dealing with it. So that is why a lot of people have said she has kind of um, put that on to um, William and Anne, apparently. So let's get, um, I guess I'm going to go straight to William. Is William going to deal with it? Is William going to deal with it? Is William going to deal with those two? What's happening? Here we go. We've got here the four of wands in reverse. So that's the stability in reverse. Uh, so there's no stability. And then we have here in terms of trying to find fulfillment. So he does not feel that they will be able to attain that. Wow. Right now, definitely not. And she feels that way too. So let's find out what Anne thinks. Anne, what does Anne think? What's Anne's take? And then we will get Charles. What's Anne's take? Anne's take right now. Anne's take. Okay, Anne's take. We have here is the conflicts. We have here the, you know, the five of swords. And so that is defeat. She feels that they got defeated and they took a risk and they were defeated by letting her in, the family. And we have here the seven of wands in reverse. So they don't feel that, she doesn't feel that they will be victorious. They won't be, you know, victorious within their defiance and how they fight the family, uh, that they will not win. They will not win, they're gonna lose. And the conflicts are in reverse with the five of wands. So the challenge has been removed since they're not there. So that she's happy about that. But she does not feel that they, they're still so conflicted, even when they're by themselves, that no matter what they do, they're going to be conflicted. Um, everywhere they go, they create conflict. So she doesn't see this conflict ever ending for Harry. And that the three of wands that he needs to create and expand um, and take an opportunity to go and do something else with himself. <clears throat> and then under the surface, the burden and oppression has been removed because they're no longer there. And they're in a healing mode period. And we have here, and she does not think that the wheel in reverse, she does not think that they're going to succeed. She sees them being a total utter failure. So that's how Anne feels. And I agree, I think that will happen. It's a slow death, but it's happening. Now let's get um, Charles. How is Charles feeling? How does Charles feel? How does Charles feel? There we go. Charles is happy the conflicts have been removed. And he does not feel that they can ever rebuild because it's the tower in reverse. When it's in reverse, you cannot rebuild. So he does not see this ever getting better with his son. He's really in a dark place. And the Ace of Swords in reverse, which is abuse, willing to be abusive. So he sees his son being very, very abusive towards him. And we have here, because of her and her creative ideas that she has with the 
queen of wands in reverse. She always thinks she's that queen of wands. That's Markle. And this is also lifting heavy rocks, burdened, um, trying to do your due diligence here, trying to gain experience and defiance and victory. Uh, he's, he thinks that uh, she will not be defiant in victory because her wand's in reverse here, and that is a low vibrational person, and she actually does not have the gifts and the abilities to do so, so he sees them failing also, along with being abusive, not being able to rebuild with Harry, and even though the conflicts have been removed out of the UK for the most part. And then we have here with the nine of wands, so that is, they, he feels that they have been very resilient and there's a lot of fast changes happening in the center of the situation. What I have here is he feels that Harry will have to overcome this. The fact that he walked away, he's going to have to overcome it. And he's being, trying to be resilient and trying to overcome it. Um, but let's find out and let's clarify that if he actually thinks that he will. Will he actually overcome it? So we have here the... King of Pentacles upright. He feels that he's going to come to him and need him at some point in time and need the father figure at some point in time. He's going to come back to him. So that's good. So he does see him coming back to him, uh, but not at this po point in time in his life. So that's how that is reading. Yes. And that's probably likely. It's a, how a lot of estrangements work, um, especially with sons. Sons last longer than daughters, uh, typically. Uh, sometimes sons can be permanent, but um, I don't think it will be with Harry. Here we go. Let's get some more. We've got the ring because they're still married. they got to get that divorce, and it's going to die. <laughs> they think it's going to die. The ring is going to die. The ring is going to hit the grave, you guys. And we have here, and it's a journal. And they're just taking notes, basically. They're keeping track uh, on their own terms or keeping track. And let's get some of this. Here we go. We got here the sneaky fox. Yep, they were sneaky. They were lying. And the letter, you know, the letter represents uh, email, invitation, communication, expression. So uh, I would say that they do try to communicate with them through letter, communication, email, etc. And they might be just kind of ghosting them. And we have here the stars in reverse. It was the wrong insight, the wrong path. Uh, stars um, is is doing the right thing in a lot of in a lot of respects. Stars is the stars is to navigate your goals and influence and clarity and vision. And he feels that their vision is in reverse. Their clarity is in reverse. They don't know what their goals are. They're kind of jumping from one thing to another. Uh, from this sneaky energy, just trying to sneak their way into just about literally anything. Um, so, and they're getting all the, they get, I, I'm thinking with this letter here, they get constant updates on what's happening with them. So they do have their sources of information. Let's get some more here. We have here, ooh, door to spirit in reverse, but this here is concerning because this could, they fear his death. They fear his death. And they fear him having a broken heart because of it, uh, because of everything that he put himself through, uh, you know, self-sabotaging himself and his family. And the guilt and shame would be too much. And the black flower fragrance, yeah, the black heart, you know, allowing that dark heart to set in and to attack his family. Um, let's see. Let's get some more here. Yep, deceit, because of the deceit. Yeah, they're, they're afraid that he, yeah, they, they fear they fear that he, he's, he's a risk to himself, which I keep saying he is a risk to himself. Markle's not a risk to herself. She never has been. It's only Harry that's a risk to himself. Okay, let's get some more. We have here, and he's very lonely. He's suffering from nothing but loneliness out there. He doesn't have friends like he should, like he has at home, and just a lot of adver adversity going on in his life. So not anything great. And uh, let's get some more on this adversity. How do they feel this adversity will unfold? How do they feel this adversity will unfold? There we go. We got here that he will end up back with the family. Right here with this card. Due to the adversity. And we have here, go to new land, the two of swords. That he will leave her and go back to the UK. So that's how they feel about it. Yeah. 
And you know what? I agree. That's, how, that's what I've been getting in my cards. I see that too. I see him pulling back eventually and just not staying. So let's get some on that Two of Swords with the Hierophant. Let's clarify those two. The Hierophant. Let's get the Hierophant first. The Hierophant. Boom. Hierophant here. Well, right now it's a building situation with the Four of Pentacles. It is building up to it right now with the Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is trying to be, you know, honest and generous and kind and committed. So at some point in time, he's going to become recommitted and build up his communication and build himself back up within the family is what that's saying. So let's get the Two of Swords. Two of Swords would be because of conflicts. The conflicts he has with her, the emotional conflicts and the the yeah karmic relationship in reverse and then and basically getting out of the relationship those calculate too these ones comes this one comes to 15 these two here come to 15 15 comes to four of clubs four leaf clover it'd be getting lucky to go back into the family and then this one here comes to 11 and 11 comes to three of clubs blackbirds communication so he just has to communicate he just has to f communicate what he wants and needs, and he will get lucky, and they will pull him in. They will go, and they will rescue him at any point in time that he wants to be rescued. He'd, all he has to do is say go. That is literally it, and that's what this is saying. Yeah, just say go. Just come get me. Come get me. I'm ready. That's all he has to do. <laughs> How nice is that? They're just waiting for that call, I guess, and we have here, and to remember, and to remind a reminder. They want to remind him of who he is and the grove here, you know. So the grove is, you know, a, a good coming from, you know, a nice social um, situation. And rem remember of all the friends you have, you know, a grove is a place where you have comfort and a, a grove is a place where there's beauty and trying to re make him remember uh, his roots, basically. Uh, then we have here in the center of the situation... We have here conclusion, and they feel that that will be the conclusion, is that he will return. He will remember where he comes from, where he came from, remember the beautiful surroundings he had, the life he had, and that will be the conclusion, is that he all he has to do is say, I'm ready, come get me. So that's it, really. He just has to say go, and they will go. So um, let's get, um, let's see, I guess that's probably it, really. Short, short spread. <laughs> and hello there <laughs> don't want to catch my hair on fire all right you guys hope you like this till next time bye